case, uh, get, drop a little medical packs here and there and uh, mm-hmm. begin the fight for the staircase. But looks like Raw is ready for that, and they're just going to be shut down. Four minutes, 49 <sighs> seconds on the clock, and uh, it's, uh, yeah, we're languishing. It could be. You can We've also got a lot of KIH, yeah. so there's grouping up all in the back stairs area. We'll see if Knight says anything about that, but they are just med pushing, med pushing. Squirrel. Slowly get up. It looks like. It's very quiet. Yeah. Squirrel is and checking on the war room now. Winning. Yeah, he was just checking on the war room, so my little strategy of, hey, maybe push him back. You know, Raw knows what's up. Squirrel was checking on the war room, now he's coming up those back stairs. Face to face with Clown and Friends. There's a little grenade. Oh. Hello. Hello to my little friend. Boom. Revive trains. KH yes. on top on that. Yeah, revive trains exactly. And looks like there was Thank only one that, sole survivor <laughs> Thank you for that, that image. entire thing, and it was Fat and Sill. Fat and Sill are in the basement now. Okay, um, do we revive actually, trains on each geez, other? Med train exactly. <laughs> I want to give a quick shout out to we'll uh, see what they can do with pistols. Sharpshooter and Channel has been here every week. Big shout out to you, buddy. I can't pronounce your name. Now I can. On we go tonight. Hey, well, uh, look at this. Look, I can't go in. Look, I can't follow you into the tunnel. I don't know why. You would think I could, but I cannot. Well, there goes the forward bunker again, Sabo. No big surprise. We might have somebody in the war room. <laughs> Zero on there with another Xerox of the Panzerfaust. All right, here's Sill. See what he's got cooking. Watch Sill. All right. Radio silence. We don't want to give away his position. Uh, shoots a couple chairs. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the crab. All right. So much for being quiet. Yeah. Charging up. This is where. To, oh, watch it. It all goes down right here. Can he get up? Can he do it? No, no, no. It is a uh, once again returned. I don't think now they should take it up the radio stairs anymore. Bad things happen. <laughs> they were trying to time it around the axis spawn. They knew exactly when they were spawning and that he could make it with like a couple seconds to spare. But unfortunately, there was, there was three people there. It wasn't just one. Um, so yeah, it was just, eh, if, he, if he had some backup. They did great on the revive trains, but the problem is, is they have no ammo when they're done. Yeah. That's kind of the issue. And the Axis, they don't drop Thompsons. Everybody pretty much spawns with MP40s, so that's kind of tough. How many full holds are we going to see, DTS? <laughs> we could be here all night. I don't know. What's going to happen? The endless final. Millions. There's going to be millions of four holds. Well, it's going to go to the ice after this one. It's going to be a four hold. I think it's going to be um, a nil-nil victory for one of the teams. Okay. Um, so if we have a double full um, hold again, then we'll head off to ice. And what's the score? Zero zero still. Just straight up. Zero zero still. Okay. Yeah. Well, I got to say, I'm very excited about how evenly matched the teams have been. You know, you don't. You have not seen any one-sided activity at all. It has been nail biters, crazy stuff right from the start, and either we got lucky and we spec the right games, I don't know, but whatever the case, it's been fun. One, three, six on the clock. Yeah, we got Squirrel right here who's going head to head. What's up, buddy? Watch oh, we Malman. got a grab. Hold a on. Grab there. Take it, Sabo. It's, Take it. It's Melman backed up by S. Gungeon. They, they're doing the same thing again. They're going to run left, go short, a little bit of a firefight at the bottom of the staircase. There we go. So, obviously, the Axis are aware of of where Team KIH is. Looks like you got plenty of allied Oh, my forces. God. Uh, I don't know if I'd go up that Melman way. now all alone. <laughs> <laughs> he's the one and only medic. Abort mission. Abort mission. He's going to go long. I would. <laughs> Screw <laughs> that. Tell us. That was like how, an iron how, curtain how of Axis defense. Work for this guy, Warburg? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, oh, we hello. Uh -oh, no oh. Nate coming down on him. Yeah. That's raining grenades, buddy. All right, 47 seconds. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Oh, he's surrounded. <laughs> oh, lovely guy. Well timed. Nice team up there. As Gungeon with the pickup. Lieutenant runs on outside. And uh, where did he go? I got Fett's him. Now got the it's Fett. He we'll stay locked in down. third. He's got 32 Take seconds. Can they get off beach? Can they stop oh, languishing? Gungeon, Can they get a point? Fett charging, charging, Here charging, charging. In, 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 in. In time, and he transmits. There it is. There we go. Finally, we see a clock. time set on the clock. And great credit to Escungeon. He re he got got revived. They gave the med the, med the docks, and Escungeon went into the top of the back stairs, killed Squirrel and Alba, cleared the way from there, and then Fett put on his Reeboks, ran all the way across, <laughs> Captain. 
That's why I love you, Nail. Your sports we'll analogies. There. <laughs> Sponsored by Red Bull and Reebok. That would be cool. We'd be rich. <laughs> 737. <And> <laughs> Oh yes, Alienware, of course. Yes. Well, that that goes without saying. It's all over the stream. I almost bought an Alienware, in yeah, fact. That's very true. It's great, great. Actually, Alienware. looks like we're staying on beach because of the first. Or actually, I'm sorry, I'm I'm, I'm silly. So yeah, it looks like. Um, yeah, we're going to the, um, the bottom of the second round. Yes. Nails trying yeah, to throw if a little if wrench. Rock and win. That's great. Time set. I am. Seven, I'm three, throwing seven. wrenches and dynamites and, and elbows. Green light. <laughs> Nail the engineer. All right. Throw all right, we're rambling. We're gonna bring some stability and some uh, some some reason to this broadcast, and its name is DTS. Take it away. Well, at the moment we've got uh, Clown Squiz mincing about, about the forward bunker. At the moment, waiting to get a plant down. It looks like they're gonna move back to the wall now. We've got a yellow light, green light. Sorry, with uh, Jab who's gonna plant. Is he gonna get there before the airstrike? He is gonna get there before the airstrike. Well, that does take out Squiz at the same time. Zero takes out Mirage with his sniper. Dynamite now going down at the door, Clown's going to plant it. Oh, and he gets taken up by Fett's artillery strike to stop that plant going down. It doesn't look very good on the four bunker, of, of, yeah, on the four bunker at the moment, Nail. I don't know if you can see anything that I can't. Well, I thought Jam was going to go over there and try to arm it, but I think he Here realized, oh, there's just too much parties going on. Too much FFV. He's probably going to get the plant here. Got a green light and planted. Yeah. All right, 28, so it's going to blow up around 58 or so. They have the breach... Uh, blown already, but there's artillery, so I don't see too much action going on there. It's really going to be a sniper fight for the next little bit here. Yeah, we've been tracking so zero on these. Out, make sure they got yeah, the spawn he's, times. He's been zeroing in pretty damn good. You're going to watch him kind of lay in the hurt down long range. He's missed the last few shots. Sniping an RTCW, not the easiest skill to master. But yes, as Voice says Voice in fame. chat, he is an amazing player. Amazing. And coming from Voice, who he himself is a great player as well. That's some high praise. So, 545, there's the grab of the flag. They're going to TK out. And come in with a full solid spawn. Sabo, do they have what it takes? 533 three on the clock. Can they get in, grab you know. those documents in time? We'll find out. You know, I didn't see a whole lot of people uh, uh, pushing through. It's not a very strong push going left. I'm watching a squeeze. He comes walking up. Grenade in hand gets shut down by Osmosis. He's got one team member uh, kind of backing him up. He's going to get shut down, too. So I think that's all I saw on the left side. Uh, they get shut down. And unfortunately, to add insult to injury, the Axis come walking through, touch the flag, and grab the Ford bunker. That forces... Team Raw to spawn all the way on the beach, costing them not only health, but valuable time as the clock ticks away. Five minutes on the clock, for which we're going to see another bunker grab and another push. What is Raw going to do? Well, I don't know. Hopefully they're not going to languish. I'd like to see them actually get in there and, <laughs> and punch it through. On the beat. <laughs> <laughs> Bust out your beach towels, you know. Make it rain. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's take a look here at the forward Surprisingly, bunker, shall we? Surprisingly, we haven't seen a lot. Go ahead, Neil. A lot of action from Knight or Zerum. Yeah, it's Images been quiet. Kind of, you know, pop shots, a little bit of splash damage, but nothing DTS-like. We saw quadra kills earlier. That was exactly what I was expecting from Zerum, but um, they're definitely doing a good job of grabbing the flag, and he's trying to get some some long-range shots all the way down to the beach. They just haven't been connecting, is all. <laughs> And we're back, sorry. <laughs> I guess I don't really need to pace myself. This is the, the grand finals, but man, am I going to sleep good tonight. Fight for the Ford Bunker <laughs> continues. Squirrel playing Medic, backing up Olba, double Medic team. Right here on the other side of this wall, we have Osmosis dropping the airstrikes. Not seeing much DTS, just uh, solid defense versus a solid offense. And Voice chiming in saying uh, Raw's been too split up every time. Yeah, it's, it's not looking great for them at the moment, to be perfectly honest. I mean, um, again, there's 
there's not really been any kind of real action going on in the basement yet at all. They keep getting the flag back. Um, have they got the flag back at the moment? Yes, again. So, uh, raw spawning on the beach again. Every time raw spawn on the beach, it's pretty much one spawn that's wasted almost. It gives KIA the time to push forwards, get their artillery strikes down on the door and the wall, shoot a few of the uh, raw players as they come in, and then it just fragments. Clown so may much. get a grab, he's only got 9 HP. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, do, 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 do. he's got it. A little lag. Hopefully things are okay for you guys at home. Yeah, here we go. Mail. Yeah, 9 HP ain't gonna help. Well, that was good. Look. <laughs> that yeah, he, he got a shot at Easy. the toe. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it takes when you're down to 9 HP. <laughs> a bullet whizzed uh, by his nailed, left did, shoulder did you and see killed that? him. I mean, where, where did he come from? Um, yeah. Yeah, like the voice had mentioned that they had uh, started pushing short. It was him and the medic team, but unfortunately the medic died. He cleaned up house and he only had a little bit left. Jam got it to docks with Jam. Where is he going to go up the dangerous radio stairs or the slightly less safe ticket long? Jam is really vying for player of the game. He's been great on defense. What can he do on offense right oh. now? We'll find out. Bad timing. I got a pistol. Pistol fight. Oh, nope. Fett's pistol comes out on top. The Luger is actually a remarkable guy. And gun. Mirage coming in with the revive. Didn't give the body, so now they have two people with the docks. This could be it, right here. 143, Sabo, you've got the honor. 40. Take us home. All right, well, I'm watching this little two-man push right here. Mirage again. Looks like Team Raw is going to make the, oh. the, the rush on the left side. Going short, but uh, you know what? Mirage knows... He's got all the time in the world, takes his time, and rightly so, runs into Sil. Uh, a little bit of a yeah. fight, fight right here. Mirage with the documents on top, and uh, he's hurt, backs up. Mm, he's and, out of ammo. Uh, he's uh, got a pistol. Away. He's got the Colt, uh, that's he's it. He's in trouble, Warwick. Well, it depends on his support. We're coming up on the one-minute warning here, and he's got it long, which is the advisable route paid off last time for KIH. Hello! Oh, no. Ain't gonna uh, happen. It. Break it down, Neil. Yeah. yeah, it's all about the flag. They grabbed, which is great, but they didn't have the flag, so that leaves the axis. They have the ability to just stare at the radio stairs, start pushing people down the back stairs. You know, one at a time, two at a time, doesn't matter. When they don't have the flag, you don't have to really worry about too much, so it made it easy for them. Got last 30 seconds here, unless they can get down really fast, put on some, uh, some rocket It's going to be jam. Shoes. Versus a Skungan who he's waiting. He's fallen back to defense 23 seconds and he's not alone. Yeah, it's not going to happen. The Axis are wisely oh, falling over. back. AIH, here's the charge, here's the push inside. Document up, document down. It is secured and the Axis GOAT is pleased. That's going to be a point. For KIH tonight, 3 to 1 as we head off to, I believe, what, MP Ice? Yeah, yeah, I believe it's going to be MP Ice uh, for the next map. And, uh, yeah, you said it worked 1 and hey. 0. All right. Such a shame. I mean, uh, uh, looked like looked like Raw had plenty of uh, plenty of document grabs. They, 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 they snuck in plenty of times, but they just couldn't get any traction, couldn't cover any ground with the docks uh, right here. Looks like, uh, according to Squeeze, we're switching servers, maybe? Yeah, maybe not the ping so. situation. Okay. Oh, well, hold on. Let me uh, uh, let me hop back to the war room so that the entire Warwich TV doesn't decide to join. Hey, I, I want an up close seat. <laughs> I'm gonna join the server. Yes, that would not be good. Um, welcome back. This is the been a very successful, exciting cup. Minor troubles. You know what we do when we have troubles? Nail. We blitzkrieg right over them, and we keep it rolling. That's how we do it in <laughs> Germany. I just updated my comment, by the way, for you. It's like Poland in 1939. Good game, game over. Alienware Cup Christmas Edition RTCW, hosted yeah, by Team Dignitas, Air Woolwich, along with Nail, along with Sabo, along with DTS and friends here in the Ventrilo server. A shout out to Sui, uh, who has been hosting the tournament for us. It's been very epic. We'll talk about some of the exciting things we got coming up, but first, we are heading to another server and another exciting matchup between these two teams. KIH are going to go into ice with a 1-0 to zero lead. Now go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to get DTS's take on this, but I feel like on that map, really, um, 
Raw was a lot stronger on defense. On offense, kind of like you said, they were just mix and match and never really consolidated pushes. Um, but I don't know. It just seemed like they, they know what they're doing. I'm not saying they don't. But they just never really had groups of people getting to the basement. It was always one or two. Yeah, it did look that way. Um, I was quite surprised. I would have liked to have seen Squirrel get the docks once or twice. Um, occasionally when the guy hops out his tree, he can be very quick to get up those stairs and get the docks um, home. But unfortunately, they couldn't really get him down there too much. He didn't have the opportunity to pick up. And um, again, they also had Jam, who uh, was doing really well to um, keep getting down there, trying to get the docks. But they never really had enough support there. You, you, normally when you pick up the docks, if you're going to push radio stairs, you like to know that you've got two or three players who are going to push the, um, the radio room from either the upper base or they're going to come through the Axis spawn. And it didn't seem like Raw had the players there pushing through to kind of give the Axis the trouble. So the Axis were able to push down the stairs every time and retrieve the documents easy, more easily than um, they perhaps should have done now. So on this map, do you think it's going to oh be one-sided, full holds, or does one of these teams really have it better than the other on ice? I'm, I'm, again, I've, you see, I'm going to put my money on KOH just because the whole experience thing they've got going. Also, the fact they're 1-0 up already is kind of going to give them a bit of momentum. Um, we did play more ourselves on ice, and um, they're pretty decent, but I mean, you know, it, the, the only thing in it was about um, a 15 second from the end capture by them. So, you know, it was almost kind of full holds the whole way for us as well. Uh, whereas KIH, I don't think normally we kind of um, get bent over a bit by KIH when we play on this map. So I'm going to go with KIH, but um, I'm sure Curse the commentators will now <laughs> Knock on wrong. wood. Right. Mm. Very quickly, yes. <laughs> Zed, I know that uh, this hasn't been exactly your cup, but you are always in the know. Um, do we have any kind of possible last minute war room coverage from either of these guys? Do we know where they're at? Zed may not be here. This is a last ditch effort. That would ha have to be for Raw, because... Well, I mean, we could join KIH, but being Swedish descent, we may not understand, <laughs> understand um, as voice says, How to learn Swedish. Ah, oh, well. Apologies we that for that. It was a little uh, difficult. Yes. Apologies for that. I know War Room coverage is very popular. Um, it's been tough to lock it down for this tournament. But regardless, we'll get it rolling. Let me give them the A-OK. Oh, A-OK here. Apologies, gentlemen out there in the channel. We're on MP Ice, and it is a favorite map from Toxic Girl. She loves it, and wisely so. It is fun, the North and South connection that I'm looking down right now. Lots of action, lots of carnage, lots of history on this map now. Some of the greatest games ever in Wolf have been played right here. And it's also very cold, so it fits the Christmas theme. I can't see end. this map without thinking about the Doctors versus Infenses map. I bring it up match. every time I see Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah that is just, too, my just crazy. I'm sure they're a little tired of hearing it yeah. <laughs> by now. Hey guys, MP Ice, Quake on 2002. You know, I just, I, yeah, gets what, me excited. What we need to do is have the video for that and just play it over and over you know, and just that's the stream. Any old right. time, yeah. <laughs> um, for those just tuning in, you know, this is Return Castle Wolf Time Classic uh, Gaming. It's the uh, Alienware Dignitas Cup. It's the final round and probably the final set score right now is uh, 1 and 0 in favor of Team KIH. Uh, and uh, the name of the map here is MP Ice, as we're talking about. It's basically a capture the flag kind of map. It's up to the uh, Axis Force to spawn, sneak their way into this big old tower right here with the uh, label of number one on it, grab oh, yeah. the documents, Sorry, and run it all the way into the little radio transmitter tower. Um, Got stuck on the roof. That's the game plan. That's the theory. And uh, yeah. one team sets the clock. The next team has to beat the clock. Whoever does it first gets the point. Probably would have been helpful if I was actually uh, not lost in the hallways and following your description of the map, but, you know, regardless. <laughs> Outside is this direction, and uh, document grab from Allied Base, Sabo was discussing. A little fortress over here. This is the home of the Axel's goat. <laughs> He's got a few homes on every every map. He likes to hang over here, so... He's got to bring those documents right through this cozy little doorway and transmit. Will it happen? Remains to be seen. Waiting on one, and this is it. Gentlemen, ladies, game faces... We're going to go home, sprint Boys to the finish line tonight. Now, on this map, we we are almost always... We know there's going to be a Panzer on defense. 
But oftentimes, what we've seen lately is some teams, they may not run a Panzer on offense. They may more focus on the artilleries and uh, airstrikes. So it looks like Sill is back. They're probably ready to is... soon, but I'm interested to see what not Knight ready. and Zerum do both there on we go. offense. Well, I hope you guys All are right. ready. Strap yourselves in for the RTCW action tonight. This is it. MP Ice, the action is underway. The Axis incoming push of KIH versus the Allied defense of Raw. Sabo, all you, buddy, let's roll. All right, well, we're following the action right now. KIH is on offense, and I'm watching Sill right here because I see Sill is an engineer, even though there's massive hands of fouls going on in the corner by Knight. Uh, Sill all alone, sneaky, sneaky. He's going to drop the dynamite at the service door. Uh, that, that pretty typically goes down, gets uh, a little firefight with Olba there, but it doesn't matter because that dynamite's ticking away, and that's just going to open up the, the 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 door for the Axis offense or a potential escape route with the documents later on. Uh, we got about nine minutes and ten seconds on the clock. Looks like there's not a whole lot of action going on yet. Now well, it's the battle for the flag. Man. Wait a second, that's where we Whoa, need some instant replay. Let's scroll back. Jam, yeah. Grenade, and Thompson action. What happened, Nail? Lock it down, buddy. Yeah, he was actually kind of by himself. Everybody was already killing out. He was the last person that killed out uh, to respawn again. But yeah, he, at the very end of his respawn, he got the nade, got the Thompson out, defended that door. There was only one person left, but they actually got the flag, and now the axes are pushing. Uh, we'll see if they if they focus on planting the hill quickly. Well, um, they do have an engineer. They just go straight through the north and try to do it that way. Malman is rolling engineer, so they probably will go for the hill. We'll see. With Osmosis now head to head versus Jam, who's been the star of the game so far. The overall matchup is really showing his teeth. Still with Osmosis, he's going to go up top, making the revivals. Pretty quiet so far, DTS. What are you seeing? What what do your elf eyes see? Well, I think um, it's always good to keep an eye on Raw pushing the north way on this map um, down the service hall. They play a very very exciting style of play, which is just basically as aggressive as possible. They will continually push down right round the stairs, almost completely into where uh, KH is spawning at the flag. And it makes it really difficult for you as a team to um, attack the documents because every time you get to the steps. Nade after nade comes down, and then as soon as the nade stops, you'll have Knight or someone else jump down with the Panzer, blow the rest of you up, and it can really break up your attacks very quickly. Of course, it's also a bit of a risk because if they do get taken out in the north, get yeah, the axes I'm seeing nothing but grenade quickly. kills. Yeah, that's it's crazy. Yeah, the, the, it's... the grenades are well primed, Sabo. <laughs> I'm still with Knight right now, Sabo. Back to you. It, it, it's a bit of a firefight going on for this flag room right here. Uh, uh, while while all that was going on earlier. Here we saw a little fight uh, allied. I think it was Jam over there grabbed the flag, and there was a fight for it. Luckily, the, the Axis took it back just before the spawn. And now we got another spawn over here. Team KIH uh, uh, oh, off man. the bat at 6.55 on the clock. Come oh, on, Knight. Oh, vaporizes Knight with he a just... Panzer self-kill. Yeah, Come on, himself. man. Is that, that's, the, that's the second time we've seen yeah. that tonight, isn't he it? Knows we're, he knows we're Ouch. spotlighting him. He's, he's got oh, his well. spidey senses, so he's putting on a show. <laughs> <laughs> Well, still the battle oh, for the, boy, for the flag here, that? and Zerom and friends now making their way through here. that service door. It's going to get real interesting real quick. Nasty crossfire, close Don't quarters, pistols, and knives. And we got bodies got flying three. everywhere. Oh, they're getting shot oh. in the air. I see dead people. <laughs> and we got a handoff going through the documents. Well, Skungan with the grab. I'm going to try to get a quick lock on him if I can. Toggling old school style. Oh, well. Uh, oh, no. Insert yeah, Pac-Man music. Return. Oh, Knight, hello. Oh, oh and Knight nice. dials it in. <laughs> Tune in Tokyo, eat Panzer. TTS, break it down. It was a... Well, I mean, Knight absolutely cleared out, um, absolutely cleared out KIH there, and it just it really helps the Raw team because they can all push into North now, get themselves set up around the flag again, and it's basically like starting the game again in terms of the positions, which is uh, going to push KIH back a bit. 
by the looks of well, things. Um, here comes Knight. Yep, yeah, go on, Sado. It's Knight Dude. with the Panzer Faust. There, there, there it is. is. I saw it setting up, and he only gets a double kill, but it, it's exciting. Might have been a Really hurting the KIH no offense. Uh, back towards the flag. Now it's just just a double over there, but it's Whizzed enough to really uh, break up that offensive push. Whizzed by my camera and, uh, and blew my, uh, my pants off. It's tunnel. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 nothing else in the tunnel. Uh, looks oh. like KH has pushed back another 30 seconds for here. another spawn. 4:55 on the clock. Look over the shoulder here. Yeah, you you know, gotta love the clipping here. The, the graphic. Yeah. There we go. Pushing through. Pushing through. There just you you're not kidding, Nail. The grenades are the king of the day. And load up with some grenades, pineapples, and potato mash. Yeah, DTS is right. They, they are, they are very, very aggressive, and I love it. I mean, don't give up an inch type deal. Absolutely, I agree. Um, different playstyle than what we used to do in the in the past. I was already talked about that. But what's interesting to me was when KH did the grab. They did what I I used to call a handoff. Where it's the guy that grabs it just jumps to his death, and you run out the front door and grab him right, now. and you just run down north as fast as you can. To make it really oh. fast from going from the top level. <laughs> that to should the have been bottom. in 3D. So that was, should have, was that great. was beautiful. Grenade wow. toss, slow motion 3D. <laughs> that would have been amazing. We need some 3D broadcasting coming soon. Very nice. Very nice stuff so far. <laughs> 359. I mean, just, just the, oh, night. Zerum yeah. answered. Great stuff so far. DTS. Are they going to even get past this yeah. defense? What's what's the story here? Well, I mean, the first thing you need to do is need to get the flag, and they need to get a proper sport. Uh, they need to get a proper spawn on and push. It looks like they have got a couple. Osmosis and a Skungan, who's going to be backed up by Fett, pushing through the north now. But Knight has got the Panzer. He's going to fire in a second. Misses completely. Oh dear. <laughs> um, not too much going in there. The grenade's going to come. In. Now from Knight, he's not going to take anybody out again, and the flag's going to be claimed for it. So it sort of looks like Carriage are in the exact same position they were in a minute ago. Dark times. The flag is getting a lot of love. But, here we go. Zero on. Fett. Got a full rush here, Nail. This could be something cooking under the base. Oldham, head to head, is going to see it. <laughs> pistol to oh, the crotch. sneaks past him. <laughs> Wrong weapon. Pull out the needle and pistol instead. Shoots this guy right in the gut. Not friendly. Go ahead, Nail. Yeah, you know, they have a couple people trying to get up the breach side, but um, we got Squirrel shooting down on him. Uh, Osmosis and another friendly. Oh, he's going to get double nade. Oh, he almost got him. <laughs> he's holding down the inner ladder on the back side. They're throwing up artillery so they know there's a couple axes just sneaking around there. Jam gets a flag again. It's a non-stop story going on here. They just keep spawning the back. It makes offense incredibly hard. Uh, so Osmosis may get a dot grab. He's probably not going to get very far here. Well, I've got him. He's he backed up by Fett. He's backed up by Fett over there. So you, you have two team. people up top right now. And here comes the defense coming over the hand-over-hand -hand ladder. And uh, who is that? That's Squeeze with the defense over there. But it's two-on-one. Squeeze is going to go down. Oh, they may, they may prove me wrong. Axis. Fett's got the grad, he's running. Oh, no, God, the jump and, of uh, death, leap of that? faith. Oh, God, I see so many people die right there. Oh, uh, man. Nail, if I could count how many people die right there making that jump, I, <laughs> it's, it's thousands. It's brutal. Yeah, and he had to do something because, I mean, they had, you know, a couple people there with the dock. They have no flag. So it's just a moment of time. A matter of time until the allies just set up shop and start shooting at you. So he had to do something, uh, but he, he just wasn't able to make it happen. It looks like Knight is pushing, being aggressive. He just killed out. Uh, probably going to see him back in the same spot here momentarily. I Got believe. A big push through shipping if and. Raw was ooh. this good on defense. If they could match it on offense. Yeah. Yeah, the voice called it right. This is the final push through that shipping door, which has been blown wide open. Rarely defended. And as Nail will call it, they're doing yeah, the revive train. It, it, it's working out quite nicely. I see Fett now uh, reviving a few people. Now he's all alone on the mid-level. Going to get shot uh, in two directions, on the side and in the back. He's shut down. 
And uh, that's about the end of that push for KIH. Yeah, but no, wait. on the uh, on the snow, I see two more members of the uh, of the the Axis offense uh, gonna get shut down over there. Uh, Zerum, maybe the only surviving member. Yeah, maybe they uh, attach a just kind of tossing grenades. If you want rocket to their ass, they can fly over and do it in 12 seconds. I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs>